What's up, everybody? Welcome back to BITG Breaks. Very clean series. Mystery Pack Mail Day. Our third installment. We have a very nice update to one of our not-so-clean, probably the worst pack we've gotten, uh, update. So, new here, old here. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You can see when we go live. We do a lot of breaks during the week. And we have a fun little community to hang out with. So, we have a redo. Redo in the house. You guys remember we had... Let me just put it on screen here. This bad boy. I loved the packaging. All in packaging. Great packaging. But for $33... Guaranteed uh, five hits. This was the pack that we got the Blake Snell patch and uh, Ricky Henderson manufactured. So, messaged the guy, hey, I kind of was missing some hits. Uh, you know, he wrote back. We shared that last video and said, hey, I messed something up. I made two rounds and something, something, shell game, something. I'll send you another pack. Okay, great. I uh, didn't get, send him a YouTube link or anything. So let's open with this. We have a redo just to kind of like, I guess, you know, go through. This was supposed to be five autographs, hot, hot, hot. I mean, 30 some dollars. That's, it's, you know, for a mystery pack, you expect a little something, something. So anyway, uh, let's see what we got. Let's open this one again. Uncommon sense. Still at 100% feedback, I will say. Let's see if we got the same packaging or different. Oh, look at this. He updated the uh, packaging. Limited exclusive. Okay. I was really excited about last packaging also. And... Looks like that's going to be inside here. Okay, so here is the same kind of like colored pack, hollow. Let's hopefully that the packaging is not the cleanest part. Again, this is a redo from Uncommon Sense. I think last time he mentioned you have to cut or something. Let's see if that works. That works. Also said there wasn't any available. So I'm not sure if he's using this a different ad for this. Or he just decided to stop doing repacks because he wasn't uh, having much success. So, all right. Okay. Uh, we got some top loaders here. All right. Let's just get it. Let's see. We have a hit. Almonds are on top. Minor league product looks about like 10, 15 years old. 2007. All right. So we got here my man Bill Spires, Spidey. Extra edition Walden, Brantley. That's a notable. There's my guy Mount Castle. That's actually a cool card. I could see that making its way into the dollar box at the, at the shop. Rocky Compensure will go in my Oriole box at the shop. Didn't tell him I was an Oriole fan. Just kind of ran to have the Rocky in there. Piazza and the Athletics car. I know some of you guys like that one. There's some new Bowman Cabrera. Last year's Bowman Lindor. Explosive Pudge. This is numbered. 1712. That's a pretty cool insert. I haven't seen that in forever. So we got a numbered card. Brett Boone. Papelbon rookie. So that's decent. I like to see that in the mystery pack. Take the Papelbon rookie. Pearson. Doing well. Little prism draft. Big Mac. Got another top loader card in here. So again, just one hit plus the uh, uh, numbered card. I guess we got something else here. After this Alomar, we have a... Can't tell who it is. National Pride. Eric Patterson. There it is. Eric Patterson, National Pride. All right. 
So, if you guys remember the first pack of this, I would say the base cards were better. Maybe, because you got your Papelbon, Mercury, that's cool, the Pearson, um, Malcastle. The hits were, you know, nothing. Ah, still bad. Uncommon sense, YouTube, I guess, don't uh, be wary, be aware. Wow. All right. So, am I going to message him again? Nah. But that was a, a repack of a repack, meaning that was what you send someone who uh, did not like the product the first time. So tell me, did he uh, <laughs> did he meet expectations? All right. Um, and we should just call this series Terrible Repacks. Maybe we'll get something good or, or, or down the line, but uh, it's not trending that way. But, hey, I still like doing it. I like showing you guys <clears throat> what, uh, what actually shows up at the door. All right, so... Next one, this this is gonna be nice. By nice, I mean hilarious. So, we have a mystery pack. Acuna, first Bowman Chrome, and two tattees. Mystery. He's all sold out. Zero available, 100 sold. Now, when I bought this, there was like half sold. Very low feedback, and now it's down to 93%. I just saw this before I started the video. So that kind of shows you where this is going to trend. It was, you know, I guess a perfect ratio when I bought it. Now it's down to 93. One thing about these chases, something to look out for. So they're letting you know, they're putting these nice cards on top. They're letting you know, I made 100 packs for fun. Uh, the value of the main big three cards, the card should should be in one of those packs. Packs will go fast. I've done it before. I don't know how you've done it before with 60 feedback. There's no way to verify that he actually put those three cards in anything. It's not getting broke live. So it could, more likely when you see these, are just a gimmick to get you to buy. Um, let's have fun with this. I cannot accept returns because you didn't like what you got. Okay. Again, with the mystery. He did spell mystery right somewhere in here, though. I thought. Anyway, I got two packs. We took two shots at it. So it was 13 was $16, $17, and the second one was 13 We got two packs coming up. Wouldn't it be funny if these... So if this was like, you know, half, less than half of the other pack. Wouldn't it be funny if these packs, like, actually are cool for, you know, $13? Because the other ones were horrendous. Well, I look at some of the feedback now that I've if there's feedback to, to show. Uh, here just has three and one off this product. I guess that's doesn't say too much. Hundred sold anything happened there when you click there. You bought this item. I guess this is everyone else that bought it. Um. Click the feedback. You got two negative the past month. Mystery pack was four cards total, each worth a dollar or so. Hey, that if that's true, if we got four dollar cards in here. We have the winner of this series so far. Came loosely shipped only in a bubble mailer. Seller refused to return replaced. Do not buy the worst mystery pack on eBay, probably. I don't know about that. Looks like you probably bought two of them too. So anyway, let's see if we get one of those chase cards. And see how, if this indeed somehow beats the uh, the other one that was more money. So it looks like there's literally two packs here that maybe you just kind of sandwiched together. Let's see if I can open this without slicing the car, because apparently it's just in there. Let's see if that did anything. Maybe this is our two packs like this. Huh. Yeah, it looks like this thing is just loose. No cardboard, maybe. Huh. Let's see how I can get this thing out of here. I might have just totally sliced the card this now. Okay. All right, so no backing or anything. It's just literally in there, it looks like. Did I slice it? Did I slice it? 
Couple cards, and there's one more pack. All right, first pack up. Let's go. Got some Allen and Ginter Commons. My man Muncie. Hall of Famer Carew. Clemens. There's a gold Ramirez from Allen and Ginter. And we have a rookie card, Chad Wallach. And there's a six on it. I guess they're. Uh, they're saying it's six or someone at a card shop that uh, had six on it. I'm not sure what galaxy this is a $6 card, not a six cent card. But there is pack one. That's what $14 gets you. All right, let's do it again. Come on, 88 Donruss. All right, hang on. I don't feel I don't feel the PSA, so no Tatis. That's more Allen and Ginter. It is wow. The Wevos. More A and G. Let's go egg. All right, Robertson. Knight. There's a rainbow foil in here. Is somebody? Dozier. Okay, there's your rainbow foil. Uh, shout out Jay Harrison in the chat. Red Sox. Rookie. Andrew Benatendi with no penny sleeve. All right. So, worst ever, I mean, I guess I put it on par with the the last one we just did. Because this pack here would maybe might qualify for the worst ever. But, so there we go, guys. I'll continue to take bullets. We're going to find something cool eventually that you guys will then jump and buy some of. But again, I want to do this to see what people send the average Joe not knowing it's going on YouTube or there's any kind of following or anything. So, until then, keep it clean. I hope you got at least a laugh out of this. And we will see you guys real soon, one time.